Let's not go back to Erasmus's. It is a silly place. Yep. Oh, the music faded in. Those first couple of notes of this song are just wonderful. Uh, up here, we'll be coming back here a lot because this, uh, a lot of familiar faces come back in Quest for Glory 5. Almost too many. A suspicious amount. There's a character from every single adventure we've had pops back in. For example, let's stop in here. Here's the Colosseum, which we I don't think we get too much use out of, and I can't really walk in it. There we go. And let's see if you recognize these guys. I just, just, there you go. God, his run is so dorky. I love it. Mm, and these banners provide a touch of color to the drab surroundings. Look. Looks like the banner of Sir Comfort and his half-brother's circumstances beyond our control. Okay, all right, that's kind of funny. You get, you get points for that one. Oh, this guy looks, uh, well, I, uh, his name, his Fez is familiar, his Fez, Fer it's Ferrari, it exudes a calculating and pompous nature that grates on your nerves. Now, Ferrari, we first met in Quest for Glory 2, where he double, I think he helped us, and then, why am I pointing out his crux? Double crossed us, but then now he's cool again, I guess? I don't know, and then who's this? This overweight character reminds you of a eunuch you won't mention, Razir. So, look, two leftovers from Mazir. So that's Ferrari and his personal bodyguard. Let's see how he's doing. How you doing, buddy? Ah, uh, good uh. to see you again. I, Senior Ferrari, welcome you to the Arena of Silmaria. I haven't seen your Ferrari, sorry. What do you drive? Your combats each evening for the next few weeks. You may come each evening to witness these displays of man's most brutal nature. It costs but five drachmas to observe the spectacle of combat. If you wish to do more than just observe, you may bet upon the outcome of such battles at the Dead Parrot Inn. However, I observe you're a man of action. Perhaps you would like to participate. No. There is a prize purse worth winning. Maybe when I get like super, super strong, but Ferrari, we haven't seen you in so long. It's like, you're not surprised to see me here. I'm not surprised to see you here. And you're just like, oh, business, business, business. Hey, welcome to the arena. As always, it is a pleasure to again be in your company. I think he's... No. I... Alright, whatever. Well, I mean, the arena itself is kind of cool. I'm curious about the betting, though, because I'm not strong enough to compete, because you go against some big badasses, this guy included, but... Betting? Betting! The betting board in the Dead Parrot lists the champion for the week and the challengers for the winner's prize. You may bet 10 drachmas or more upon either. The odds will be affected directly by your bet. That's his way of saying it doesn't, you know, you pretty much set the rules here. Uh, prize? If you're a challenger in the competition, you can more than double the amount of your entry fee when you win. If you're a champion, you can triple your entry fee. Knowing your reputation, I assume that that will be easy money for you to earn. I... You may enter the competition at the betting board in the Dead Parrot, as well as place your bets. I don't think I need to ask him about all these things, but as long as we got him. Gladiator, your captives. I am hoping to see you compete in this. It will be a pleasure to witness your skills in action. Oh, well, that's it. It is a fine place to observe. Okay, it's, like, it's just really him just saying, yes, this is an arena. How astute of you, my young friend. Participate in the... We shall meet again soon, I hope. And who are you, my tubby friend? What you want? I'm dumb. Ah, uh, you are dumb. What name, even though I know already? I be a dumb. Yeah, yeah, I want to make fun of his name. But I shouldn't. Let's be PC about this. This place to fight... Or watch fight. I like him. He talks like me. He speaks my language. Fight. Read board. Board tell fight. Tell fight. Bye. Go. Okay. I feel like we've really connected today. I'm dumb. Uh, the antechamber of the arena. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see if there's anything else to find around here. Now, as a thief in Silmaria, I think there are a couple of... Double clicking usually makes him... Oh, ha. I'm like trying to speed read or walk with my eyes. Very difficult. Alright, let's see the board. I'll come back to what I was saying in a sec. 
A series of announcements for Arena events. It says that there will be a series of combat tournaments to determine the champion of Samaria. There is also a warning that magical spells will not work inside the arena. Well, that also kind of rules me out because that's the only way I can win combat is by cheating with magic. Now, being a thief in Samaria, limited things to do a la Tarna, but still a few houses to break into. There is a thieves guild, if I remember correctly. This house, I think, is a target at some point, as is this one, or maybe that's connected. I don't know. Now, here's the Hall of Justice. This is where we start. This is where the rights of rulership will take place and where we learn everything, but let's explore first, all right? I don't want to jump right into it. We'll go talk to the guards and whatever. There is a bulletin board, which I think re replaces maybe the bulletin board of the Adventurer's Guild in the last four games. Welcome to Samaria. Let's see what's going on. Cur the only thing going on in town is the right of rulership. Wow. Uh, all right, must be a small town. Island News. Fisherman's Flip. Oh, I can click on these to see what's going on. Uh, the fishing village of Marit have been deserted by the fishermen. Fishing boats have been attacked by Hesperian mercenaries. The fishermen fear their villages may act as honeybees, <laughs> as a point of note, have also been diverting the deserting their hives. A very bad omen. I would be a little bit more concerned about the fishermen because, like, they're dudes and then the honeybees. It's like, why would you even mention that in the same sentence or the same anything? That's awful. That also reminds me of something else that bugged me about the intro is... When the statues start to fall, it wakes up the dragon, of course, but why does it make evil things from all over the world come over in a flock? Was that the way it was beforehand, before the dragon? Because they said everything was great, then the dragon came, so we sent him away, and then he came back, and then he brought all this shit with him somehow? I don't quite get it. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, Samari wants you. Justinian dead, he was the king. Really gruesome death, too. The kingdom of Samaria is still shocked and in mourning for the assassination of our beloved King Justinian. May he rest peacefully in the Elysian fields of Hades. I know Hades is like the afterlife and everything, but it really says, I uh, may he burn in hell. Uh, five or more. Okay, so they're not going to begin without me because there's only four other people that are considering joining up. There we go. Let's go check out the rest of town. Get ourselves settled. It's very pretty, I must say. I mean, very pixelated, but for the technology of the time, I remember when I first got this game. I bought it, when I, and I, when I bought the game, it was like, you know, 40, 50 bucks or whatever, at Babbage's or whatever, and I, for the life of me, could not run it. My computer was incapable of running this. I upgraded it and still no dice. So I saved it for years. I saved this game for like three years, and then I got a computer capable of running it, and then I played it, and I, I, th I think I remember having a pretty good time with it, but I've only beaten this game once. So, I mean, I definitely don't like it as much as the originals. The flowers growing along the wall are fragrant and lovely. This must be the apothecary's shop. Arcane symbols, yes. And in here, we'll find another series of circumstances that just happen to land people that we know in Samaria. This, it, it... Oh, Julinar, look! Uh, it's that prince person who told me about you. I'll never forget him. I can't tell you how happy I am that you told me about Julinar back in Tarna. Uh, whatever your name is. <laughs> Welcome to our apothecary. So that's Julinar! We've met before, although I was in quite another form at the time. Oh, that's right. Julinar was a tree when you last saw her, wasn't she? Well, it's good to see you again. That whole conversation kind of reeks of the whole what's a paladin thing. You know, it's like... Well, I guess it's good, again, not being exclusionary for people who did not play the first couple of games. Yeah, I know you're getting, you're looking at your invisible watch, Sneaky Feet, I'm sorry. So this is Salim from Tarna, and this is Julinar from Quest for Glory 2. And then, in, and I saved her from being a tree, well, at least started her on the road of recovery, and then... To, oh, am I boring you, Sneaky Feet? My goddamn apologies. And then, I'm trying to, whatever. Then he was the apothecary for three, we told him about her, and blah, blah, blah. Getting hungry. Uh, yeah, I can save it. Let's see how these guys are doing. Julinar appears to be an attractive young lady with a good deal of common sense. I can tell that just by looking at her. The bearded man appears much happier than he did in Tarna. Chili peppers! Alright, well, let's say hello to Julinar first of all. I'm really curious of how she got out of the desert and ceased being a tree. Uh, hi! It is a great pleasure to see you. 
You have been most kind to me. Don't bark at me, lady. It is good to be human again. In the form of a tree, you can learn great wisdom, but it is the knowledge born of solitude. I now enjoy greatly the company of others. I am mastering the arts of healing both the body and the soul. That's going out on a limb. Salim is a man of great kindness in heart. I am deeply happy with him. Yeah, it looks like you really set down roots here. With Salim's knowledge of potions and pills, and my healing abilities, we have much business here. Looks like you sell a lot of... leaves? Eh? This land is so much more alive than the deserts I grew up in. It is so green and lush that it soothes the soul. You said, Julinar, plants make people happy. Yes, very, very happy. And I'm proud to say that as cra crappy as they were, I didn't write those down beforehand. Those are all on top of my head. And I'm so sorry. If you are ever injured, I will be honored to heal you. Oh, good. So we got our healer. All right. Let's see how Salim's doing. Um, hi. Uh-oh. Hi. Hi. So good to see you again. <laughs> I really have to thank you. For Where do you get these glasses from? And how do you tie-dye something back in ancient Greece? Uh, whatever. Uh, I'm Julinar. I left Tarna and went all the way to Shapir by boat. I followed your directions. And there I found Julinar, all alone in the desert, just like you told me. I guess even trees get lonely. So I camped out there and talked to her, gave her some hugs and some really good plant food I brewed. Her leaves really perked up with my kind wink, words. Wink. Then I awoke one night and the tree was gone. There sat the girl of my dreams in her place. I was totally thrilled, even if I did kind of miss the tree. We've been together ever since. So... Did you guys, like, make out and stuff as a tree? Because she was kind of girl-shaped. I mean, not that I'm judging, but it's kind of hot. We're doing a good business here. The plants just love this place and grow really well. We like making people happy, too. I saved so much power on my hydroponics, man. This is such a wonderfully cosmic place to be. I'm really glad we came here. So, all those really deep conversation trees are gone, and it's really... Which is good, because you can kind of get in and out of conversations, and, like, we're done. You need to mellow out a little more. Put some flowers in your hair, <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> Alright, well, I can shop with Selim, and I can also sell stuff, which is nice, so let's buy. And let's see what he's selling. Stamina pills, poison cure, healing, fireproofing, vitality, and health potions. Which I guess is a little better than healing pills. Uh... Well, I mean, I have 700 bucks, so it's not that big a deal. And I've also bargained okay, like I could Okay, we'll do a deal some other time. Shut up. Sorry, I don't have any of that right now. Oh. I got most of the ingredients, but I'm missing the scales of a dragon. I just can't make it work without them. Then why is it still on your menu? Well, yeah, well I guess that's a quest. Vitality potion. Oh, vitality come on. Potions. Do you have I anything? I can't make any more without Pegasus feathers, and I'm totally out of them. Let me guess. Oh, okay, this he actually has. Uh, fully restore my health here. Okay, we'll do a deal some other time. Uh, poison cure. Let's see if I can talk him down to seven. Hey, thanks! Yeah! This will really help me keep the shop going so I can make some more good pills and potions. Alright, well, let's buy this health potion here. Let's see how far down I can get him here. Let's see if I can offer him, like, 50. For old time's sake, can you give me friend prices? I'd really like to be able to sell stuff that cheaply, but then I wouldn't be able to buy food for my poor starving plants. How about this deal? How about 67? Sure, that'll work. <laughs> you got a deal. Nice. I feel a bit like, all right. Well, that's good. I'm just going to buy a little bit of everything here. So healing, stamina. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> if I were a little bottle, where would I be? I am afraid that you have sold the last bottle to that strong fighter who came here yesterday. Oh, right. We ran out of Pegasus feathers the last time we were making it. Sorry, but we won't have any stamina pills until we get a few more Pegasus Your feathers. Your menu is effectively cut in half. Whatever. Talking out of five, let's buy like four, five of these. I'd really like to be able to sell stuff that cheaply, but then I wouldn't be able to buy. Food All right, how about six? Starving. I could even buy the ingredients to make more if I sold my stuff that cheap. All sure, right, sure, that'll work. There we go. I like bargaining. Bargaining's fun. All right, and anything else in here I can take? These chili peppers look delicious. It's beyond my reach. How about this lower one here? Pick some peppers from your fr generous friend supplies. 
I didn't even know I could do that. Anything else I could steal or uh, <laughs> borrow from my generous friends? How about these plants? Excuse me. Oh, fresh taste of mint. I can't take them. How about the Samphora? No. Well, whatever, bye. How about this basket? Can I take this basket with me? I'd like play turtle. No? All right, fine. All right, so there's them. Uh, let's see, who else can we find around here? It looks like it's getting late. It looks like a lot of the shops have closed up, but here's the magic shop. We can see how things are going in here. The eye of the universal symbol of magic shops where we can travel. All right, let's see if he's still open, first of all. Yep, he's open. It's very pretty, I must say. Hello? Hello? Is there anyone here? I can't go around this thing? I'm stuck. I, I can't, oh, hi. Greetings, Prince of Shapir. My father, Rakish, informed me of your arrival. I'm Shaka you're, Shaka you're Rikisha's son? This is the magic shop of Silmaria. Look at you! How are you looking? I didn't even know he had to be at a baby while he was here. Look, who'd he hook up with? Wait. Father. What? Wait, what's his name? Shuck. Was he mentioned in Quest for Glory 3? Or did you have a baby while you were here, Rikish? And why'd you take it? Well, Alright. Whatever. They probably did mention him. I can't imagine that R Rakesh would be adulterous. He's a paladin for crying out loud. Alright, well... Um, hi! Greetings unto you, wizard. I, you, you got me pegged all wrong, buddy. I am a wizard like yourself. I'm not. I apprentice with my mother, Krisha, and the enchantress, Aziza of Shapir. I am specializing in object enchantment. Okay. Oh, okay. Look, I can actually uh, cut these trees, but... Unfortunately, you can only see like four things at a time, and if I could count, it would be five. Krisha! My mother thinks highly of your magical skills. Why? With several years of devotion to the art, you could become one of the most powerful of wizards. Uh-huh. Well, let's see. How's Aziza doing? Ziz! The I call her Ziz because we type... good teacher. She demands precision and dedication to the art of magic. I had to work very hard to please her, but I learned much. Uh... I make mystic magnets oh. and have made a magical charm bracelet that enhances a wizard's skills. I also create mana pills and mana potions. Alright, those magic magnets are probably the most useful thing in the game. We gotta get one of those. The mystic magnets are a pair. You set one in a place of safety, a bedroom for example. You have only to use the other magnet upon yourself to teleport instantly back to the room with the other magnet. As you can tell, this can save your life when you are in danger. So, again, kind of going back to my WoW references, World of Warcraft, it's basically like your hearthstone. But, you can set your house, like, wherever you want. Wherever your, uh, magnet is, is where you will be zipped back to. And it's great. The magic charm I don't really care about that. The wearer's magic. Mana, mana pills, pills I don't really need. Mana essence. potions, mana whatever. Po magic. This is a land that is rich with magic. This island is rumored to have risen when Atlantis was destroyed eons ago. There are many magical items and weapons to be found here. Many merchants sell such items if they consider you to be trustworthy. So I have to like earn the trust of merchants before they sell me stuff? That seems like a really bad business model. What is a shop of magic without spells? However, you are an experienced wizard and I have only a few spells that you are unlikely to have learned elsewhere. You're really selling yourself short. You're a really bad salesman, dude. This is my home and workshop, in addition to being a magic shop. If you are interested in purchasing something, just let me know. And in a rare case, I can actually talk about Mordavia. And I'm not sure why I'll bring up Mordavia with him, since I figured Tarna was like where I spent the most time with Rakish, and that's what he'd be most curious about, but whatever. You freed Irana's soul from a voozle. I grieve to learn a voozle. He did. But I rejoice that her soul is at rest. I guess that Rana is... She's, I wonder if she's famous here too. I wonder if she set up like a... Uh, a garden of some sort. Well, whatever. May you walk ever with wonder, wizard. Alright, well let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can purchase stuff from him. Let's see. I can buy a magic dagger right off the bat. I'll save myself on that one. The magic magnets we need immediately. These things are wonderful. I love them. Let's see how far down I can talk them. I think wow! That's a lot more than I thought I was going to get away with, but cool, done. So we have met before.
before. I thought so. I'd never forget your penis face. Oh. Ooh, the bank. Holy crap, it's locked and closed. Probably can't break into that just yet. Oh, hi, guard. Oh, hi. 